Well, good morning and welcome to Jamie's on this Monday, January 8th. I get to broadcast from indoors because usually Renee is having her devotions in this room and I'm usually around the corner outside. But uh, she, her sister surprised her with um, for her birthday and flew out from California and so they're having a great time uh, these last couple days. The assigned reading, or one of the assigned readings from today, comes from the 17th chapter of Genesis, um, verses 1 through 13. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you and will make you exceedingly numerous. And Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give to you and to your offspring after you the land where you are now an alien, all the land of Canaan for a perpetual holding, and I will be their God. God said said to Abraham, as for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. You shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Throughout your generations, every male among you shall be circumcised when he is eight years, eight days old, including the slave born in your house and the one bought with your money from any foreigner who is not of your offspring. Both the slave born in your house and the one bought with your money must be circumcised. So shall my covenant be in your flesh, an everlasting covenant. Well, we just had this verse um, from, or a reference to it a couple of weeks ago in Luke's gospel about Mary and Joseph going to the temple. Um, and we got it, we, we talked about how on the eighth day, the sign of the covenant, the circumcision, and we talked about um the prescriptions for ritual uncleanliness uh, of seven days, then eight day uh, circumcision, then another 33 days um, for blood purification for the woman. If it was a male child, if it's a female child, the numbers were, were doubled. Uh, yesterday in confirmation class, I was bringing up the story saying that in scripture, when something momentous occurs, oftentimes there's a, a, a name association changed. And so Abram going to Abraham and then uh, Sarai going to Sarah. The other thing that caught my eye this morning, though, was wondering about the ages. And so I was backtracking a little bit in Genesis. And uh, the call to Abraham to leave and follow uh, happened when he was 75 years old. They'd been in the land of Canaan for uh, at least 10 years prior to Ishmael being born of Hagar. And then um, this is at in Abraham's 99th year. That's a lot more patience than I have. <laughs> and so um, sometimes wonder whether the things are literal or figurative, whether it's truly that a 24 year period of the initial uh, promise to this time and think, boy, that's a long time coming to hold your faith. So uh, to be commended, Abraham, to be commended for that, and Sarah, Sarah, um, and yet the, the challenge of that, that patience is, is not lost on me. So, well, that's just the initial thought for today. Let's, let's pray and enjoy the day until we might get some evening rain. Holy God, thank you for this new day. Uh, thank you for these stories in scripture uh, describing the faithfulness for people throughout the generations. So we give you thanks for Abram and Sarai, for Abraham and Sarah um, clinging to your, um, to your promise and the fulfillment of that promise. Help us as we um, 
seek to follow you to be patient in those times that when it doesn't seem like things are happening upon, according to our time frame uh, to help us understand that your time frame and ours don't necessarily align. Um, also help us to see the many ways that you're working in our lives and, uh, and, and even sometimes just to pause and look back over the scope of our lives and to, to see your hand at work. Be with us this day that uh, we may see your hand at work in the world around us. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I do, do hope you have a, a, a good day. School bus just, school bus just picked, pulled up. And, <laughs> so take care. Bye-bye.